What is up YouTube? Clickwood here back again with another episode of my budget series here on Madden 15 Ultimate Team. And today guys, the position that we are going to be focusing on is defensive tackle. So, obviously there is a lot of different things that go into picking the, and choosing the right defensive tackle, which attributes matter, which ones don't. I'll try to break those down for you guys today. And then as always, what I'm going to do is show you guys some cards that I think are very, very underpriced and we're going to compare them to some other ones that I think might be a little bit overpriced. And I'll kind of show you the differences between what you get for significantly more coins versus significantly fewer coins. So let's get things started right off the bat here. And the very first comparison, we've got Indomitong Su on the left-hand side of your screen. 89 overall elite, and we're going to be comparing him to Akeem Spence, the 84 overall gold card football outsiders. Now, obviously, I know, don't jump on me just at this moment, guys, because I understand the football outsiders items do fluctuate in price. Right now, this is very, very cheap at 4,500 coins, but I think it could end up going up to around 10,000 as we start to see these being rarer and rarer as people are collecting them and that kind of thing. So, you know, like I said, if, if this is an item that you're interested in getting, I would go out there and try and acquire it soon, if you can, from the point when you see this video going up. Otherwise, it could go up a little bit in price, but I'll give you guys a couple other ones just in case that it does, or in case you're viewing this video a couple weeks or months down the road. So, again, 84 overall gold, Akeem Spence going for about 4,500 coins, and we're comparing it to him, Damakong Su at 67,000 coins. So, first things first, we as we always do, let's run through the attributes that we're going to be talking about today. Number one, speed. A acceleration is number two. Strength, block shedding, power move, finesse move, tackling, hit power, awareness, and play recognition. Now, each one of these attributes has different values depending on what you're looking for in an actual player. So, I'm not going to tell you, you know, this is the most important thing or the least important thing. It kind of depends on what you like in a player and kind of how you play defense. But... What I will tell you is that my most important attributes that I look for are strength, block shedding, and either power move or finesse move. And the reason that I say either power move or finesse move is because basically those attributes are the same thing. And, and I'm not saying that they're actually physically the same thing, but conceptually, as far as how they function in the game, they're essentially the same thing. What they do is they're an animation that triggers, and that animation basically goes up against the opposing player's uh, pass block or run block, depending on what they're doing on that individual play. If, if it's a run play, they're using their run block, and if it's pass play, obviously the pass block. So if their attribute is significantly higher in a run block or pass block than your power move or your finesse move is, and that's the animation that triggers then you're typically not going to win that engagement. You still will sometimes, but it's kind of an, an, a numbers game on how often you're going to win it versus the opposing player. So hopefully that makes a little bit of sense, guys. And it's not just those two attributes. Other things go into it as well. Obviously, strength, block shedding, all that kind of stuff goes into it. Even speed and acceleration to some extent do. And then all the other things kind of are based on you know what, an individual circumstance that's happening. So hopefully that makes a little bit of sense to you guys, and that's why I either say you want a good power move or a finesse move. I don't really compare. I don't really care which one it is. Typically, your defensive tackles are going to have better power move, but I threw Akeem Spence in here because he's actually better at finesse move, which is kind of interesting. He's still significantly lower with his finesse move at an 84 versus Sue having a 96 power move, so it's a 12 difference there. That's pretty significant, but he does actually have the same strength, and he's actually three higher in block shed. So as far as the attributes go, he's better in one, he's tied in one, and he's worse in one. Now, obviously, like I said, he's significantly worse in one, but still, he's still solid at an 84 finesse move. That's not a terrible attribute. It's not excellent, but it's solid, especially considering the price of the item only being 4,500 coins. The other things, hit power, in my personal opinion, not that important for a defensive tackle. All of them have a decent hit power at least, but I still threw it in here because, you know, usually people want to see that. Awareness and play recognition, to me, not that important for a defensive tackle because typically they're either going to be engaging against the running back and trying to stop him or going at the quarterback on pass plays. Play action, it does matter a little bit because they're going to probably be able to determine whether they should tackle the running back on a play action versus actually running straight after the quarterback on a play action. But even still, they're typically going to tackle the running back even if they have a high play rec. That's just the way that it is in this game. So to me, I don't really care that much about play rec or awareness for defensive tackles. Those will be important for your cornerbacks, your linebackers, your safeties, and that kind of thing on the defense. But for defensive line, I don't really worry about play recognition or awareness personally. So 
Hopefully that makes a little bit of sense, guys. And then, of course, speed and acceleration, those are kind of self-explanatory. For defensive tackles, I don't really worry about that as much because I'm not going to be pass rushing that much with them. They're typically there to stop the running back. Obviously, there are pass plays where we want them to be able to get after the quarterback, but what what it comes down to is do they win that engagement against the linemen in front of them or not? Once they get win that engagement, the quarterback's going to be trying to get rid of the ball anyway. So, you know, at the end of the day, it's not super important whether they have good speed or acceleration. But I will show you guys at the end of today's video one item that I think is pretty good for plat, uh, for pure pass rushing at the defensive tackle position. So anyways, guys, kind of getting off track there, but uh, coming back to these two items here, I do think that there is obviously an upgrade here between Ndamukong Su and Akeem Spence. But at the same time, though, I don't think it's that substantial. I think that for 4,500 coins, you're getting a significantly better value. And most people, of course, can't afford to have a 60,000 coin card at every single position. So if you're somebody that's, you know, kind of balling on a budget a little bit, you might want to go out there and take a look at this Akeem Spence or some of these other items that I'm going to show you in today's video. So let's hop into the second card uh, set that we have here. And the cards that we're going to be looking at on the left-hand side, you have Road to the Playoffs, Kawan Short, the Elite item. That is an 88 overall, going for 62,000 coins. And we're going to be comparing him to Marcel Darius, 5,000 coins, an 84 overall item. So... These items, as you can see on the left-hand side, a lot more green on the left than there is on the right. Of course, that means that that attribute is higher, the red meaning lower, and then yellow being the same. Hopefully, that makes sense. But on the left-hand side, there is a lot more green than there is on the right, of course. You know, that, that kind of goes without saying. There's six over there, and there's only four for Marcel Darius. And Marcel Darius is only higher in one of the three most important attributes that I always say. You know, like I said, strength, block shedding, and then either power move or finesse move. Those are my most important ones for a defensive tackle. So to me, it is a little bit frustrating that he's only higher in one of them. But the nice thing is that he's only one lower in block shedding. So they're essentially the same there. And then he's four lower in power move, where they're the closest, of course. Um, but he's only, but he's actually three higher in strength. So for all intents and purposes, these two items are very, very close. They're within two overall between the three most important attributes as far as uh, my personal opinion goes on those things. So uh, my opinion is that these items are very, very close to one another in the, the best things that they can go for. So, uh, you know, defensive tackles, we want them to be able to stop that run and the strength, the block shedding, and either the power move or the finesse move are going to be able to do that. And that's why I really like this Marcel Darius item. I remember in Madden 20. I used his final edition, the Mar Marcel Darius final edition for, oh gosh, probably a month or two um, as my starting defensive tackle. And I had, I had opportunities to go out there and get 99 overall items. And I just passed him up because I was totally content with the attributes that he was giving me. And that's kind of how I feel about this item. I, I feel like you could start this for a team that's in the 90s overall and not feel like you're getting completely screwed. I really do feel like this is a great item. And hopefully you guys are going to be able to go out there and find it for around 5,000 coins because it is very, very good. Now, one thing I will say, Kawan Short is low in hit power. For a defensive tackle, they're typically going to be in the 80s. He's only a 78. Whereas Darius is at an 89. So there is a substantial upgrade there. And then shockingly, this one really surprised me. Marcel is actually higher in both awareness and play recognition. So that's something you don't see very often from a lower overall item. I was really kind of surprised to see that. But then, of course, it does make a little bit of sense when you take a look at the actual speed and the acceleration because Darius is eight lower in acceleration and two lower in speed. So there's quite a bit of a difference here. Kwan Short's going to do a better job of getting after the quarterback, to be honest with you. But in my opinion, it's not going to be that substantial. So I would still probably say that for the price, Marcel Darius is giving you a lot more than Kwan Short would for given his price. Of course, if you can afford Kawan Short, go ahead and get him. He's a better overall card. But Marcel Darius, very, very good for his price of 5,000 coins. Let's take a look at the third player comparison today. And what we have is, on the left-hand side of your screen, Jarrell Casey, 87 overall elite. And we're going to be comparing him to Damon Harrison, 81 overall gold. And the price difference here, Jarrell Casey going for 38,000, Damon Harrison, 4,000. Now... This one is pretty darn interesting because what I'm going to tell you is that I honestly think Damon Harrison might be the better overall item. Crazy as it sounds, I know, it absolutely sounds crazy, but look at the attributes. The three most important attributes that I look for, strength, 
Damon Harrison, 90. And Jarrell Casey, 88. Block shedding, he's one higher at a, a 91 versus a 90. And then at power move, he's only one lower. Now, I will say his finesse move is absolutely atrocious at a 49. That's like offensive lineman numbers for a finesse move but at the same time though again he is typically going to use his power move so we don't really care that much about the finesse move we really just care about what his better attribute is and he's typically going to go ahead and default to using that and then he does also have a 95 tackle which is pretty darn good and then he's solid at an 80 awareness with an 85 play recognition which is actually the two of those things are uh his 80 awareness is the same as casey and his 85 play rec is actually higher the only areas where jarrell casey is better he is significantly higher in hit power, 85 versus a 73 for Damon Harrison. He is not going to be forcing very many, uh, very many fumbles. I will tell you that much for Damon Harrison. But he still is going to be able to hit the, the running back or the quarterback and do a decent job there. The other thing that's a little bit poor for Damon Harrison, well, actually a lot of it poor. He's very, very slow, 58 speed. And 75 acceleration. Those are really, really low numbers. And Jarrell Casey at an 82 with a 62 speed is not significantly better, but he's not as bad. <laughs> I mean, like, it's it's not a great attribute is what I'm trying to say for Jarrell Casey, but it's decent enough to get by. Damon Harrison, his numbers are really low. I just can't lie to you. He, this is really primarily going to be a run-stopping defensive tackle, but the 90 strength with the 91 block shed and the 86 power move, those are really solid attributes, especially for an item that is only going for 4,000 coins. So, you know, what? like I said, it really comes down to what you're looking for. Um, I, I mean, obviously, I, I don't, I guess I shouldn't say that Damon Harrison's necessarily better, but I think he's a lot closer than the difference between 34,000 coins. I really, really do. I think that if you're looking to upgrade your team and you have Damon Harrison on your team and you've got 34,000 coins, I would not make the upgrade to Jarrell Casey. What I would do is I would take those coins and use them in another position where I think I can make a more substantial upgrade to my team. So hopefully that helps you out, guys. Those are the three comparisons that we have today. But what I decided to do was actually go ahead and throw in a little bit of a bonus item for you guys here. So what you're going to be seeing here is actually a pass rush specialist, as I'm calling him, from the defensive tackle position. Um, he's not extraordinary or anything, but he's only going for 900 coins. Super, super cheap. He's 74 overall. It's not a great attribute. I understand his, his overall is very, very low, but he has some interesting attributes that I think make him pretty solid as a defensive tackle for pass rushing. First of all, obviously, speed and acceleration, 80 speed for a defensive tackle, that is extraordinarily high. That is very, very high for a defensive tackle. His acceleration in 85 is excellent. And then he still has 91 strength with a 90 block shed. Those attributes are awesome. There is really nothing to complain about there. And then he still has an 85 power move, which is solid. So to me, I'm really not worried about this item getting to the quarterback. I think he's going to do a great job getting to the quarterback just based off of those attributes alone. Now, obviously, 50 awareness, 63 play recognition. That makes sense as to why this is only a 74 overall item. If you were to take those attributes and pop them up to an even a 75 overall uh, for awareness and uh, play recognition, you would see that his defensive tackle attribute, the overall uh, attribute on the card there and the, on the front would pop up significantly as well. It would probably be in the 80s if you just did that. So, uh, you know, that kind of makes a little bit of sense as to why this is, item is rated so low. But again, for 900 coins, when you are looking for a, a pass rusher out of the defensive tackle position, you just aren't going to find very many better players. He's going to do a great job for you, and he's going to be super, super cheap. So hopefully that helps you guys out. I really do hope that you learned something today. If you did, please be sure to hit that like button. That's how we really help grow this channel and get this information out to other people. So if you guys would press that like button, I would greatly appreciate it. The next budget series episode will be up when we get to 150 likes on this video. So smash that like button. I will try to get it out as soon as possible after that. I'm not going to try and wait a week or two or anything like that. We're going to try and get this thing out as soon as possible. If you like the video, if you have any other suggestions, anything like that, please also be sure to leave them in the comment section below. 
And of course, guys, if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button so that you can be given some sort of update on when I actually put out the next video. We do also have a link in the description below that will take you to a playlist that contains all of my budget series episodes that I've done so far. So go ahead and check that out. Check out some of the other episodes as far as other positions so that, that hopefully that can help your team as well. So thank you guys again for watching today. Hope you enjoyed it. And I will talk to you beautiful bitches again soon.